Hello adventuresses, I'm Crystal Kelly and welcome to the Equestrian Adventuresses channel. I'm here in Brazil where I'm going to give you some fun facts about the Marcha, which is a 750 kilometer uh, endurance race on Criollo horses here in beautiful Brazil. So stay tuned and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. number one. So the Marsha is 750 kilometers. It takes place over 14 days. There is one day of rest in between and it's all on the same horse. Fact number two, we actually ride two times in the day, in the morning and in the afternoon. And during the ride, it can be anywhere between 15 kilometers to 50 kilometers in one leg. Fact number three, there is actually a set pace which you have to keep during the ride. It actually builds up as the week progresses. Uh, so today was 10 kilometers per hour and every 5k they tell you whether or not you're a minute slower or faster so that way you can try and keep the pace. And then towards the end on the second week there's actually I think three free days where you set your pace and your time. The paces can be anywhere from 8 kilometers per hour to 15 kilometers per hour and then of course the free days where you choose the pace. Fact number four. Before the Marsha, the horses actually have to rest on grass for 22 days. They can't be ridden. They also don't have their shoes and they're not getting any grain. They're only eating the grass. So the first day that the gauchos are riding them is the first day of the Marsha. And then they also get 22 days of rest after the Marsha completes. And then during the Marsha, they're also not allowed to be getting any grain of any kind. They have to be totally on the grass. So the reason that they do this is to make all of the horses equal. They want the horse that wins to win because it's genetically superior, not because you've been giving it supplements and it has you know, more fitness than the others. Fact number five. During the Marsha, they're actually only allowed to use traditional tack, which the gauchos would use normally. So it's the, the leather um, saddle, the sheepskin and everything. The only exception to this rule, because it's endurance and it's such a long distance, they are allowed to use very thick pads, very fluffy pads. Um, the more the better, it seems. So thick memory foam type pads whatever they can think of is okay, and this is to help the horse. Fact number six, after every leg, they have to have a vet check, just like in a normal endurance race. Uh, the only difference is that the heart rate has to be around 60 heart rate um, after about 20 or 30 minutes. So, you know, they splash the water on the horses, they cool them off, they walk them around, and then the vet checks for their uh, pulse and for their breathing. 